What is up, obscure mic people? I am coming to you yet again with a pencil condenser microphone, again with some capsules that you can switch out. Exciting stuff. Today's is the ISK Little Gem. Let's take a look at them. So you got the little gem, small pencil condenser with two capsules, all black, sturdy, metal, great build quality, no bells or whistles, no switches, nothing like that. But again, the build quality here is excellent, and I believe this was $50 when it was uh, being sold. Maybe it's still being sold. I don't see them all the time, but I'm pretty sure this is like a $50 set, which basically you're getting three mics kind of with this. I do have a little windscreen on that did come with it. I assume it's the original, but I'm not 100% sure. And just like the mono price, this does sound surprising for a pencil condenser. And I'm sure the plosives are also terrible. Let's go ahead and do that now. We got the cardioid capsule on. Peter, pipe, mm, can't do it. Just know that it's not a good idea to do plosives into pencil condensers. Let's just roll with that. Maybe we'll find one eventually that is fine. Peter Piper picked a pe uh, 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 uh. Okay, so again, you're going to need one hell of a windscreen set up. Big thick sucker on here. I'm looking around, but I'm not going to mess with it. Anyways, when you get right on top of the little gym from ISK, this is what it sounds like when you're right on top of the little gym from ISK. Now we're going to take the mic and go 90 degrees off axis rejection. Solid for a condenser. 180 degrees off axis rejection. 90 degrees again and then slowly around to the front and this is the cardioid capsule we got the hypercardioid yet to go so we're going to try that one out here in just a second but so far so good voice wise 50 bucks okay not bad sounds uh I, I don't remember exactly what the mono price sounds like but this is coming in at a similar sound profile maybe a little muddier mono price was a good set let's switch capsules and see what the hypercardioid sounds like then we'll go to the omni put our windy back on there this is the hypercardioid capsule this is what it sounds like and i'm going to do the same thing as far as peter piper peter piper pretty bad now we're going to take the microphone go 90 degrees off axis rejection not that much better than the cardioid honestly 180 degrees off axis 90 degrees and then slowly around to the front of the microphone maybe in the video it will be considerably better than the cardioid capsule but maybe maybe not when you're real close to the cardioid capsule this is what it sounds or the hypercardioid this is what it sounds like and now let's switch over to the omnidirectional capsule cap soul gotta admit the little switchable capsules are fun okay so this is the omnidirectional capsule and a lot of the mud comes off. This is a much more open, airy kind of sound. And uh, we should be able to just keep talking. And, and of course, we're not talking directly into it, but it's still going to pick up a lot. Uh, as we spin the microphone around, it's still picking up quite a bit. A lot more than the other ones were. But uh, yeah, you can float around a lot more and do a lot more here. When you get right on top of the capsule, this is what it sounds like. Not boomy or anything, just still thinnish omnis every time but they're just meant to pick up what pick up everything right not really meant for me to close mic close talk anything like that so that makes sense back on the cardioid capsule and you know there's something to be said for being able to throw this little thing in a bag and go that's uh and especially to be able to get some some decent quality i still think it's a bit too uh muddy not very clear and it, it sounds okay it's just there's a lot of low end there so it does get boomy and there's really no way to i don't know it sounds pretty good it's just not my cup of tea clearly not really a vocal champion here but still usable completely usable isk little gem that's all i got wanted to demo it for you show it to you if i can find a link where you can buy these i'll put it in the description down below but honest to god i'm not sure i'm not sure if you can or not but i'll find out Again, these little pencil condensers are a heck of a lot of fun. And I imagine if I put this in the old canister, which died, the connection, somewhere a connection came loose. I'm going to have to repair it or make version 2.0. Mark II, as Iron Man would call it. ISK Little Jim's out of here. Bark's out of here. Peace out.